So we've got some ground beef for onyx tonight for supper. I wanted to talk about feeding these little guys a little bit. If you just got one, it's not hard to make the ration. You can just mix up the proteins a bit. I have a little hand grinder I bought for 25 bucks and I used to make all my own patties. I would just take a Saturday and make up quite a few cookie sheet trays of softball and baseball size and freeze them and then just throw out a little patty. This guy would eat about a baseball right now, morning and night. And uh, it's just uh, ground beef just like that. And you want to uh, get the fatty cuts, but they, they can just be cheap beef. And then uh, he's uh, seven weeks old, and so he can eat pretty good. Uh, it can be, you know, almost chilled right to the point, almost frozen. He's fine. He's got teeth. But he likes, I thought, out for these little guys. Now, when they're about... Uh, five, six months, you don't have to grind much, you just dice her up, and by seven months they can eat pretty well anything, and so they're uh, stout, stout rascals by then, but uh, we're primarily a protein feeder, we're not a big fan of roughage for pups, and uh, you can put some berries in, and a few things like that, but uh, you keep some fish in the ration, you can buy smelts, you can buy sardines, any kind of fish really, freeze the fish, dice it up small, top dress it right on there, or that can be the whole ration if you want, and not a problem, the fish is really good for them. Now we, we buy our patties made now from a company over in Cranbrook called Petsco Raw, that's who we use. And I just don't have time to make it anymore, but for one dog you can make it, for two dogs you can make it, I was making it for ten. Now when they're older you can just buy turkey and just slice the turkey off, give them turkey one morning, give them a little fish that night, give them some chicken drumsticks, chicken wings, stuff like that, throw out some pork shoulder chops, stuff like that. Uh, they eat about, uh, when they're about eight weeks old, they're eating about half a pound morning and night and they'll quickly go up and they'll run uh, a little heavier while they're growing but then they'll go back to a maintenance ration and half a pound to a pound for a male high energy male he might run uh, he might run a pound morning and night but doubtful his dad's efficient and two of us very efficient, so I don't uh, foresee this guy being anything but efficient. Tora, of course, is half a pound a morning and night, and she could probably survive on half a pound once a day uh, all summer long. Very, very good. So some of them are, are really efficient. You were coming eat, buddy. Get eaten here. Oh, here, boy. You better get eaten, Mister. That's a good boy. So yeah, this is a remarkable dog, this guy. So we were uh, hoping to get out and do a hike today, but it's maintaining the temperature quite hot yet, 31.5 yet. So we're just hanging out till it cools. Maybe tonight around nine, it may be cool enough. I have females in heat all over the place. So Kai's in heat. She's not getting bread. Ayla's in heat getting bread. Apostle's been with her. They've hooked up three times. Letta, of course, is bread. Uh, she's doing about a month. Nova just nicely got bread to Karoo. And Willow's coming over tomorrow, I think, or Tuesday. Willow's the sister to Sage. Sage is bread. She'll be doing a month or less. And Willow's the full sister. And so we'll uh, put her in with Karu, and then watch out, buddy. Come back up here. Hey, Onyx, come by me. Come. Good. Good you better get eaten, buddy. And then we have uh, Tekla just, just about to cycle right now, so. 
I'm going to run the old boy himself with her for a few days. At least uh, the start of the cycle there while she's warming up. And if he, if he gets a hookup in that early stage, he can stay with her. If he can't get a hookup in that early stage, we'll pull him out. And she goes with the Super Stud Karoo. But Dakota, I think, will get a hookup. Tackler's a dead stand, like she plants. And so she don't move, so he can. Obviously, he's hooked up with her once before. Her first litter, he had 10 with her. And so I thought, well, I can use those pups from her with Karoo and with Leaf. If I have Karoo in her right now, I can only use Leaf. So I'd like to double the chances. Tuva. 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 Come. Tuva's got some rodent over there. I had a rodent in my black bronco. And so we were just filming that. I had four of the sniffer dogs there in Kalia. So, uh, a lot of pups coming and Luna will cycle right shortly next. But Silver Nova was a little ahead of, ahead of my plans, which is totally fine. Um, I, I have a, quite a few people came back on board, which is fantastic. Uh, they, uh, so we're, we're going to go ahead and get them bred. And the other two Yamtons will cycle soon too. But Ayla is bred now. They had three hookups. So Basso, he's, uh, I locked him up right now for the movie because if she don't get up, oh wow, does he make a racket to get her up. He stands and barks at her. See, this is the difference when you got one pup. He can take his time and eat. Um, any other pup in any other litter, even if there's two. They eat everything in a hurry and they're done. But one puppy has no competition, so he can take all day and eat. He's not at risk of losing his food. And uh, I would have trouble with this guy, you see, if he stayed here, because the other guys will come and take his food. And he he won't understand how that happened because it didn't happen as a pup. So uh, dogs that are raised by one have have trouble later on in life of, around food because they lose it. They can't keep it and they won't eat it. Yeah, bring that up here. Good boy. That's a good boy. Get that thing up here. That's good. You play with that anyway. So yeah, it's it's uh, but he's going to a, a good home, so that he can take his time and eat. It's totally fine. And it's hot out; he's not starving. He's a stout big boy. But he'll come get a little bite, go again. This is an incredible pup, very intelligent, and so calm, so easy going. I got my building project going on here. And he'll lay right under my chop saw. And I can be sawing away, and he's he's literally almost sleeping right there. I'll be pounding nails on the deck, putting the deck down, and he's laying under the deck. He's an uh, incredibly calm fella. I have big beams that I put the planks on, and I can set them on the deck. And it's, it's a 12-foot deck, and I've only got four feet done. And he'll walk that entire beam straight to the back. It's six-inch beam. He'll walk it right to the back to get down low because it's high up here and goes back to the hill. So he stays on that beam, goes right to the end, and steps off. He's very, very smart. Really coordinated, really well balanced. And uh, not goofy, looks down, decides too far to jump, finds his way to the beam. He's really good. Yeah, hikes along, sticks around, doesn't take off. Very handler focused fella. Very good dog. Never makes noise. That's the other beauty of a single dog. They don't they don't make noise. 
and they're good alone, of course, right? If you want a dog to be alone, that's the dog to have. They amuse themselves, they sleep alone, they play alone. Totally fine. They just love the handle. You get a better bond. Kai! You settle down. Kai wants that rodent. So yeah, having a single um, one, one dog litter, one pup litter, is an advantage. Yo! Boy. His bite's pretty fair now. He doesn't chomp. He, he, when he gets a little excited, he'll put a pretty good hold on her, but a little yelp, and he's, he's good. I've had him playing with his sisters. So the deer are back down. There's no water up top. So all the, yeah, you, you check them out, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good. 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 See, he can smell that. Good boy. That's a good boy. What a good boy. Good boy, Onyx. Good boy. Anya, sit down. So the deer moved down in this heat because it dries up. And so they circle around behind us and come down. And uh, the jam thuns all catch him coming across there and let me know. But uh, he he lights up too. He, he really hunter. Super hunter, this guy. So his grandmother, of course, um, Finnish bear hunter champion in Finland, Finnish moose champion, Finnish show champion, and Tuva's got nothing but hunting champions on her side. Totally. Good. Good. What a good boy. What a good boy. You're such a good boy. Fantastic boy. Fantastic boy. Good. Boy. Yeah, so Matt's excited. He's coming to get him next week. And he'll be uh, he'll be thrilled with this guy. Wow. Phenomenal fella. Come over here and play with this stick. Good. You better get eaten, mister. Tuba. Come. Tuba's way over there. She'll hustle. Tova's in magnificent shape, obviously, just one pup. So. Good. She better get eaten now, buddy, because your mama's here. She usually won't take too much of his, but she'll like this stuff. Tuva, let him have that. Tuva. No way. You waited too long, buddy. I got more. I got more. Yeah, so you can make your own rations up easy. It's not hard to make them up, and you don't have to grind. You can dice. Uh, they they like little tiny dice squares. They'll just swallow them whole. So no problem there. You don't have to have a grinder, but grinding is very easy. Then you put the bone in. Tuva, you should stay. Tuva, keep him here. Come, keep him here. Yeah, just stay with him. Good. You guys stay by me. You guys stay by me here. See, you can train with the mother when it's a mother like Tuba. Anya, don't do that. You stay here, Onyx. Onyx, you stay here. Bud, you stay by me. Bud, bud. Don't follow your mama. Leave your mama alone. Bud. But I wouldn't worry about roughage for a pup ever. You can put a little roughage in maybe after a year or two. And when I'm saying roughage, I mean a few berries, a little bit of carrot, a little bit of apple. 
stuff like that, a little bit of kelp, but uh, these don't, uh, don't get carried away. A little tiny percentage, but don't get carried away. Put, put proteins, meats. Yeah. Fish, fish oil, if you can't find fish, fish oil. Come, bring this over here. Bring this over here. Stay right up in here so we can see you. Stay in here. Good, good. But don't bite too hard. Good boy. Good. Don't bite hard. Good. 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 And let them chew on every bone you can find. Fresh bones, they chew on them. You really good. And get some old gloves, some old rags they can drag around and play tug of war with. But uh, keep them happy. Keep an old pair of moccasins. It's got lots of your scent on. Old gloves they really love. Is your scent? Ela. Ela's looking for Paso. So we to get Paso back out there. She might hook up one more time. See, he would have ate more. So he took a wolf down his share. But you gotta eat faster, buddy. But I'll put some food in his pen later. And then he can just stay there for an hour or two and two can stay out. She bumps out to them. They're out. But yeah, that's uh it's easy feeding one dog. So a little softball. That's about all they need, ground beef. And then quickly, or a little baseball, I mean. And then quickly they'll go to a softball. And then you can feed a softball and a baseball. About that much, you know. And uh, you want to feed him till he's done eating. Because they don't get fat on meat, right? And buy fat, buy beef hearts, buy livers, all that stuff. Make sure you give organ meats, always. But you can buy the whole turkey, you can buy the whole chicken, you can buy big bags of pork chops, all that stuff. Now don't feed your bone frozen. If you're feeding a pork chop with a bone and thaw it out first, then chuck it out. But you'll only do that when he's big. Otherwise you throw it through the grinder. That little hand grinder I got, it's got a big opening about this big around. You can chuck a drumstick right in there and just grind it right up. So yeah. Well buddy, good job. Good job. I think that's a pretty good video. My hips are stiff today from working on that building. Yeah, that'll be alright. He's trucking, so that's good.